and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm thinking of Valentine's Day as I'm preparing to make this soap. Uh, the fragrance that I'm using today is going to be Mulberry from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I've soaked with this before. It didn't cause me any trouble. It doesn't cause acceleration or discoloration and uh, it just smells very nice. It is fruity but not a sweet sweet fruit. It's just a really nice I love it. It's just a good scent. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, the first day, this is going to be a two-step process. I have these ginormous heart molds from Brambleberry. Isn't that pretty? Each one of these holds 30 ounces of soap. So I'm going to make a full batch of soap and pour these heart molds. And then I have, got to reach over here, some little tiny heart molds that I am also going to be pouring for another project. Just going full on hearts today. All right, so Mulberry is the fragrance. This is going to be an aloe vera soap. And for the colorants, I'm going to do an in the pot swirl to pour into my column molds. And I'm going to be using a combination of, these are the colors, Red Vibrance from Nurture Soap. This is an amazing red color. I love it. They also have Trial by Fire, which is a really true red. Red Vibrance is a little more of a whiny red color, not whiny, whiny. <laughs> it's beautiful. So that's going to be one of the color swirls. Another in there is going to be this a fairy tale pink mica. So those along with a little bit of shimmering white cloud. And this is, uh, the fragrance doesn't discolor, um, so I'm not going to use TD in the heart, but this is just going to add a little bit of shimmeriness to the uncolored or the un pink or red portion, if you know what I'm saying, just to make a nice, really pretty in the pot column pour down into these hearts. So I want really swirly, big hearts. And then after I get my hearts made, I'm gonna make another batch of soap and use my Essential Depot molds. These, this is a standard size mold from Essential Depot. I'm not affiliated with them. I'll leave a link down below. Um, it's just a really good, sturdy, super sturdy standard size soap bar. These are going to be my love you bars. So I just, that big heart is what is gonna speak to it. So, and I have the mulberry scent will also be in the base of the soap and I just, you know, Thought it would look really pretty with a big loving heart for love you and that's one of my valentine soap ideas so i'm going to get all that pulled together today i have to get the column molds poured and i'll probably wait a day or two to unmold them when i use a silicone mold i like to wait a little extra time so they unmold nice and smooth and i'll bring you along as we do that and then the rest of it's pretty simple off to the side here if i have any extra batters from either the heart pour day or the base pour day. I have uh, these little heart molds that I got last year at Aldi's during Valentine's Day. They're so cute and um, they're just beautiful and they're hearts. So I will keep those off to the side and also I have these, our little Wilton flower molds. So I have these just off to the side in case I have extra batter, you know, they're going to be usable and beautiful so i like to anytime i'm messing around with different uh, embed molds and things and i'm not quite sure my amounts are perfect i like to have little silicone molds off to the side you know for the extras no waste so we'll see when we get there if i even need these and if i do they'll be really cute so they're there if needed let me get everything pulled together and get my aloe vera lye solution prepped and let's come back and start making love you soap all right, it's time to make those heart embeds. So I have all of my oils and butters melted and cooled down in here. Uh, the fragrance is already in here. I have worked with it before. It behaves very nicely. So fragrance is in. And here is my aloe vera lye solution that does have tussa silk fibers and cane sugar, as well as the aloe vera juice and, of course, the lye. <laughs> so that's what's going on in here. I'm not doing any dry additives because I just want these to be really smooth. And um, it's just all about the aloe vera, the hearts, the fragrance. So that's the focus of the embeds. So let's go ahead and add this in and I will bring it up to an emulsion and then I'll split off for those beautiful colors. We'll do an in the pot swirl and we'll see how far we get with this batch. Um, I'm sure I can fill up my heart molds, but we'll see about those other embed molds also.
It's been about 36-ish hours since I poured these into the molds and uh, I was just busy yesterday, so let them sit an extra day. So they're very easy to unmold. I mean, literally, you're just gonna pull the two halves apart. Here, I'm telling you how easy it is. Like, there we go. They're kind of like a little Ziploc seal on there. And just, you know, go slow because you don't wanna, you don't wanna nick it. But there's one half and then pull it out and there's my little heart I'm just gonna clean up you know this little bits on here that got caught in the seam is no big deal it just sort of peels off but these are just beautiful let me tell you they smell fantastic so I'm just need to measure these to get them the exact right size for my soap mold but let me get the rest of these unmolded So I have had a little bit of a change of plan on the design of this soap as I got to thinking about it, got my embeds out and cut, and I'm actually gonna put them down in the mold. I just have them in there for sizing right now. So I was originally gonna have them sort of resting on top, but the little center stripe going down the heart has a seam in it, and um, I just started thinking about it. So I want them actually embedded into the soap. So I'm gonna do some piping on top, and if you have never used a piping tip coupler, I was gonna show you how this works. It's super duper simple. Um, normally, when I pipe, I just go ahead and put the piping tip down there, snip the end off of the bag, and it pokes through. And that is a super simple way to do. You don't need one of these, but I have one, and I'm gonna use it today. So I figured I'd just show you how. So I put the little, the little inside thing with the threads up in my bag and I kind of get it down there so I see about where the tip's going to be and you just need to cut enough of a hole for the end to come out. You don't want it all, the bag all the way down here. You want it right up at the top and then you just put your piping tip right over that and you screw down the threads and there is your piping tip bag ready to go. So um, I am going to save this off to the side. I just want to do, so here is the new plan. Embeds are gonna go in. I'm not gonna color the body of the soap. I'm gonna just leave it a nice kind of creamy white. It's that aloe vera. I will put a little of the white cloud mica in there, you know, to brighten it up a little. So pour the soap, get the embeds down in there, and then I'm just gonna pipe on the side a little bit, maybe do some ziggy zags, because when these are all done and unmolded, I'm gonna run it through my tall, skinny soap mold and have some samples on the side, because I want the tall, skinny shape. So <laughs> these soaps are gonna get a haircut when we're done. But anyway, that's the plan. So got the piping bag. Let me get the additives ready and we will get going on the rest of this soap. All right, since I'm going to be coloring all of the soap today with this uh, Shimmer White Cloud Mica, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in my oils and get it blended in here before I add my aloe vera lye solution. I don't have any other dry additives going in today. So this is it. Just want, and the mulberry fragrance is already in here. <laughs> so just want that aloe vera and the hearts to stand out. That is the star of the show. So let me get this mica blended and then we'll get moving on. All right, here's the aloe vera lye solution, which has uh, cane sugar, tussa silk fibers, and sodium lactate in there. So it's aloe vera juice that I buy in one gallon jugs and I keep it in the refrigerator. And it's cool when I mix it with the sodium hydroxide. I've never had a problem with scorching. I guess I get asked that all the time, does your aloe scorch? Now, if I was using aloe vera gel from the plant, like, you know, a pure, a aloe vera gel puree, I would f either freeze it or put it straight in the oils. But this is the aloe juice and it, it behaves very well in the lye solution. I've, I've never had an issue with it. So 
Let's get this mixed in here and uh, not doing any color swirl. So this is pretty straight up. I just want to mix it thick enough um, so that I can, you know, of course, get it up to piping consistency after I get those hearts in there. I'm not really trying to suspend the hearts. I want them near the bottom or on the bottom. So we're just going to get a nice, probably light trace on this before we get to pouring. And look at that beautiful pearly white color. Isn't that lovely? it's the next day and these are so pretty and I did um, put a uh, tray over the top of this and cover them with a blanket my basement is very cold and I think I got gel phase through most of it I have a little bit of soda ash on the corners but not a big deal um, they smell great today and I'm just absolutely over the moon for these I'm really hoping that the inside is pretty also so there's only one way to find out and that's let's get these out of the molds. So again, the basket here, the way I do it is I just tip it on its side and I use my thumbs and just sort of press up and get the silicone out. Easy peasy. And these uh, silicone liners are thick enough that you can't flip them inside out. I've seen some people uh, with 
small silicone molds and they can peel them. These are too thick for that. So what I do is I just tip it and use my thumbs again and push and break the seal on the bottom. And then it just slides right out. And there we go. And just nice and smooth. Oh, this smells so good. I sure wish you were with me. Look at those little stars. Happy, happy. All right, let me get the rest of these out and we'll get to cutting. All right, here is my multi-bar cutter. I know some of you are gonna be like, why, why are you doing this? <laughs> well, because I have boxes in my wrapping and the way I do things, I am shipping tall skinny bars, which is why I put the heart on this side and hopefully put these in a little bit. I'm gonna have sample bars, so I am going to plane these down to make them tall skinny bars. This is interesting why this one's so yellow. That's the cure out color, but um, this one was on the end. Isn't that funny, the color change? Anyway, so I am going to plane these down. Sorry if I'm frustrating a couple of you, but <laughs> that's, um, that's how I wrap my soap. So these, will, these are standard size bars, and I'm going to make them tall, skinny bars. back with the lovely Olga here and I have been loving my multi-bar cutter from Good Speed Soap Cutters just so you know and here they are this is the tall skinny version and I am so excited to get in here now of course <laughs> I did not have these in the right spot I kind of wanted them all on the little extra bar and they got little tips on there but I think it'll make the little bars look cute so the, that's not bugging me at all let's get in here and see what we've got how those hearts came out on the inside. I'm just very, very happy with these so far. Oh, I think they're gonna be pretty. Oh, these are happy. These say love you, don't they, big heart? Very, very happy with these. And of course that heart embed is gonna be different all the way through, just a big ginormous heart full of love. Love it. So this is, let me just say, this is the side of the mold right here and this is the side that I cut. Um, so they did end up going all the way to the bottom, but I think it looks beautiful. I'm so tickled with these. I wish you could smell them too. That mulberry is a very pretty scent. It doesn't smell, it's not, uh, when I describe it, it's not candy smelling at all or a cloying sweetness. It's just a nice, gentle, kind of a fruity tone. Happy, happy. These are making me happy. All right, let's keep going and get into the rest of these. 